Hi, I'm Lisa. Let's learn some advanced English vocabulary from the newspaper. With each video I make, my goal is to raise your level of English from advanced to truly fluent. And one way that you know that you're truly fluent is when you're able to understand the vocabulary from the newspapers and when you're able to use those words in written and spoken English. We will look at a few paragraphs from a recent article in the New York Times. I will teach you the meaning of the words that you may not know even though your English is quite advanced. We will also practice pronunciation. I will read parts of the article and I will give you a chance to repeat so that you can say the sentences with a good, clear American accent. And then at the end of the video, I will show you a list of the words that you learned. That way you can test yourself to see how many of the words you remember. The article is about the current financial situation at Facebook and some changes that Mark Zuckerberg is making to his company, which is now called Meta. The article is titled, Meta lays off more than 11,000 employees. I put the link in the description below if you would like to read the whole article. Before we learn the vocabulary, let's look at the first sentence. It contains some words that I want to teach you how to pronounce correctly. These are words that are commonly mispronounced. They're related to social media. The sentence says, the parent of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp reduced its workforce by 13% and extended a hiring freeze through the first quarter of next year. Let's pronounce these three social media companies with a perfect American accent. The first one is Facebook. How do you pronounce those two O's? Do you say book or book? It's book. That double O spelling is sometimes pronounced as an O sound and sometimes it's pronounced as an U sound. For example, we say moon, moon, look at the moon, but we don't say book, we say book, book. Look at my lips. They're not pushed forward too much. It's not U, it's U, U, and my tongue is relaxed. Repeat after me. Look, took, book. And now let's say that name together. Facebook. We stress the first word. Facebook. All right, let's go on to the next social media name. How do we pronounce this word? It contains two A's. The first A is reduced. It's going to be like this. Insta. Insta. It's an uh sound. It's a schwa sound. Insta. And the second A is like this. A. Ah. A. Ah. Such as apple or man. So now let's say the word Instagram. Instagram. I follow you on Instagram. Let's look at the next word. How do we pronounce this word? This word also has two A's. The first A is pronounced like this. Uh, what, what. So we don't say what. We don't say what is your name. We say what, what is your name? Uh. And the second A is also pronounced like the second A of Instagram. It's a, app. Repeat after me. What's app? What's app? I downloaded the app. Don't confuse the pronunciation of what's app with the expression what's up. What's up? It means how are you or what's happening? What's up? Listen to the difference. Up, app. Up, app. Let's talk on what's app. Hey John, what's up? Of course, the reason they call this app What's App is because it sounds like you're saying, how are you? What's up? Did you know that? Let's look at the meaning of workforce. The sentence said, reduced its workforce by 13%. Workforce means a group of people working or the number of workers. For example, we can say, women represent almost 50% of the workforce. The company is increasing the size of its workforce. 
And hiring freeze means they're not hiring any more people. To freeze can mean to stop doing something. Let's read the sentence again so that you can practice your pronunciation. I will pause and I'll give you a chance to repeat after me. Pay attention to how I'm connecting words and which words I'm stressing. The parent of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp reduced its workforce by 13% and extended a hiring freeze through the first quarter of next year. The next paragraph has 14 words that I'd like to make sure you know the meaning of. There's a lot to learn in the next paragraph. We will also learn the correct pronunciation of a word that a lot of my students mispronounce. The cuts nearly triple the number that Twitter slashed last week, though not as deep a percentage, represent a stunning reversal of fortune for a once high-flying company whose ambition and room for growth had seemed limitless. Meta spent lavishly over the years, accumulating users, buying companies such as Instagram and WhatsApp, and showering its employees with enviable perks. Not even scrutiny over its data privacy practices and the toxic content on its apps could dent its financial performance as its stock continued climbing and its revenues soared. At one point last year, Meta was valued at $1 trillion. How many of those words in red letters did you already know? Do you know the meaning of the verb to slash? To slash means to cut to greatly reduce the amount or the price, or to eliminate jobs. We can say, they're having a huge sale. They're slashing prices on everything in the store. The workforce has been slashed by 40%. Another meaning of to slash is to cut something violently with a knife. You can say, someone slashed the tires of his car. The article said nearly triple the number that Twitter slashed last week. So that means that Meta laid off three times more employees compared to Twitter recently. All right, let's go on to the next word. Let's learn the meaning of the adjective stunning. The verb is to stun. Stunning means shocking, amazing, causing great astonishment. And this can be good or bad. You can say, you look stunning in that dress, or that's an absolutely stunning performance. Let's use it as a verb. I was stunned by the performance. Or you can say, I am stunned by the news. And that means I'm shocked, I can't believe it. The article said, stunning reversal of fortune. And that means shocking reversal of fortune. Fortune means luck good or bad things happening in someone's life. You can have good fortune or you can have bad fortune. And a reversal of fortune is a complete change of fortune. So a stunning reversal of fortune means it's shocking that things went from good to bad. Everyone was stunned by it. The article said a once high-flying company once has two meanings. I'm sure you know the first meaning. It means one time. So we have once and twice. Twice is two times. The other meaning of once is sometime in the past or formerly. For example, you can say, I once worked there. And that means I worked there in the past. I used to work there. I was once a teacher. That means I was a teacher sometime in the past. We often use it this way, the once. We can say the once wealthy city is now in ruins. Or the once famous actor is living in seclusion. Let's look at the expression high flying. The article talks about a once high flying company. High flying means very successful, especially in business or academically. We can say, he's a high flying entrepreneur. I gave up my high flying job and I decided to have a more peaceful life. 
So a once high-flying company is a company that was very successful in the past. Do you know the meaning of the word lavish? The adverb is lavishly. And lavish means large, impressive, expensive. We can say, they live a lavish lifestyle. Or, they had a lavish wedding. She received lavish gifts. Or, we can use it as an adverb, the house was lavishly decorated. And the article states, Meta spent lavishly over the years, and that means the company spent a lot of money in the past. Let's look at the pronunciation of this word. How do we pronounce the two U's? This word is commonly mispronounced by many of my students. The two letters U are not pronounced as U. They're both pronounced as U. Repeat after me. Accumulate. Let's say it a little bit faster now. Accumulate. They've accumulated a lot of money. A lot of snow accumulated overnight. The article talks about Meta or Facebook accumulating a lot of users. Let's pronounce that together. Accumulating users. Do you know the expression to shower someone with something? That means to give someone a lot of things. We can say, my friends showered me with gifts on my birthday. After his performance, everyone was showering him with compliments. The article states that Meta was showering its employees with enviable perks. If you have something that is enviable, it means that you have something that other people want. We can say, she has an enviable job or they have an enviable marriage. He leads an enviable life. The article talked about enviable perks. A perk is a benefit. It's something you get from your work in addition to your salary. So, for example, a perk might be free meals at work, or a lot of extra vacation days, or even a gym at work. You can say, the money isn't great, but there are a lot of perks. One of the perks of working for an airline is free travel. The article says that Meta showered its employees with enviable perks. Does your job offer any enviable perks? Let's look at the meaning of the word scrutiny. The verb is to scrutinize. Scrutiny means careful or thorough examination of someone or of something. Investigation, close watching to examine something closely to find mistakes. We can say the company's practices were scrutinized by the government. How do famous people deal with all of the media scrutiny? The article talks about scrutiny over the company's data privacy practices and the toxic content of the apps. Let's look at the next word. Do you know the meaning of the verb to dent? The sentence said, not even scrutiny over its data privacy practices and the toxic content on its apps could dent its financial performance. To dent means to damage or to harm. We can say, the failure has dented his confidence. Let's pronounce this word correctly. Let's stress the first syllable. Revenue. Revenue. Revenue is money that a business receives. It's income generated from a business. The article stated, its stock continued climbing and its revenues soared. Do you know the meaning of the verb to soar? It means to increase quickly to a high level, to rise rapidly. We can say the prices of food have soared or the cost of housing is expected to soar or the temperature soared. So its revenues soared means the company was making a lot of money very fast. Do you know how much a trillion is? This is a trillion. It has 12 zeros. It's one million million or a thousand billion. So at one point last year, Meta was valued at one trillion dollars. 
The word trillion might be different in your language. So we have million, we have billion, and then we have trillion. All right, now we will read the paragraph again. I will pause to give you a chance to repeat. And remember, try to imitate how I connect words, how I link them, and pay attention to which words I'm stressing. The cuts nearly triple the number that Twitter slashed last week. Though not as deep a percentage, represents a stunning reversal of fortune for a once high-flying company whose ambition and room for growth had seemed limitless. Meta spent lavishly over the years, accumulating users buying companies such as Instagram and WhatsApp and showering its employees with enviable perks. Not even scrutiny over its data privacy practices and the toxic content on its apps could dent its financial performance. As its stock continued climbing and its revenues soared, at one point last year, Meta was valued at $1 trillion. Let's look at another sentence. But the company has struggled financially this year as it has tried to move into a new business, the immersive world of the so-called metaverse, while grappling with the global economic slowdown and a decline in digital advertising, the main source of its revenue. Let's look at the verb to grapple with. To grapple with is word number 136 in my online course, the 400 advanced words you must know for fluent English. Let's listen to how I explain the meaning in the course. Let's look at the word to grapple with. To grapple with. And that means to attempt to deal with something difficult. To try hard to understand or solve something. The city has to grapple with the problem of homelessness. The city has to grapple with the problem of homelessness. and pay attention to the pronunciation of the next sentence. It has the a ah sound six different times. I accidentally took a calculus class and had to grapple with my lack of math skills. Let's repeat all of those words with the a ah sound. Accidentally. Calculus. Class. Grapple, lack, math. And let's say the sentence again. I accidentally took a calculus class and had to grapple with my lack of math skills. So now you understand the meaning of grappling with the global economic slowdown, right? In the 400 advanced words you must know for fluent English course, I talk a lot about pronunciation rules to help you speak with a good, clear American accent. The course consists of seven hours of video, and you can download the audio for the whole course. I also have a curriculum for you that you can follow so that you can learn the first 200 words in 28 days. Plus, there are quizzes to test your progress and downloadable PDFs of all the words and their meanings and additional practice sentences. I'd like to teach you one more phrasal verb from the article. The phrasal verb is to play out. Let's read what Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO, said. He said, Unfortunately, this did not play out the way I expected. 
Mr. Zuckerberg said, I got this wrong and I take responsibility for that. To play out means to happen, to develop in a certain way, to end in a certain way. We can say, I wonder how this is going to play out. Or it depends on how the negotiations are going to play out. All right, now it's time for you to test yourself to see how many of the words you remember. You learned a lot of words and expressions in this video. All right, let's go through the words. I will show you the words one by one. You can pause and try to make your own sentence if you remember the word. If not, you can go back and watch the video again. And of course, you can look up the words online. All right, the first word is workforce. Do you remember the meaning of that word? The next one is hiring freeze. To slash. Stunning and to be stunned. Reversal of fortune. Once. Two meanings. High flying. Lavish and lavishly. To shower someone with something. Enviable. Perk. Scrutiny. Dent. Revenue. To soar. Trillion. To grapple with. To play out. How did you do? How many of the words did you remember? To keep expanding your vocabulary, I suggest that you read a wide variety of topics. Read articles from different fields, not just your own specialty. And every time you see a word that you don't know, find out the meaning of the word and then use it in a sentence. That way you're much more likely to remember it. And say the sentence out loud. Your brain needs to hear you saying the word. Thanks for watching and keep practicing your English. To get the two courses, the American Accent Course and the 400 Advanced Words You Must Know for Fluent English, go to accurateenglish.com.